Hi everyone, it's Danella again with the UT Central Libraries. Today I'm here to show you another very quick recipe. Um, today we're going to be showing you how to make a tuna salad sandwich. Now this is a very simple fix if you're super hungry and you don't want to spend a lot of time cooking. If you just want something really quick to eat, um, this is a simple recipe to make, so let's get to it. Alright, now let's look at the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need some salt, some pepper for seasoning. You're going to need a red onion. Now you can use a white onion or a yellow onion. I just prefer the taste of the red onion in contrast to the tuna and the mayonnaise. And of course you're going to need some tuna and some mayonnaise. You're going to need a mixing bowl and a fork and a chopping board and a knife. And also a toaster if you prefer to have toast with your sandwich. So if you prefer to toast your sandwich bread, that's, you would need a toaster. Otherwise, you, you can just make it on normal bread. Um, for the tuna, I got this albacore white tuna. It's in water. Um, you can also get it in oil. I also found a couple of different variations. So if you see here, I found one that's with pepper and sea salt. In that case, you just have to adjust how many, how much pepper. You would probably not even need to season it again. Another one that I found was chipotle flavored tuna. So this is seasoned tuna. Um, if you like that, go for it. You just gotta remember, you know, you don't need the pepper and salt anymore if you have pre-seasoned tuna packets. So now that you have your ingredients, let's get to the actual recipe. Alright, so first we're gonna take our onion and our knife and we're gonna just start cutting through. I like to cut the ends off first, and then kind of use that to help me peel away. You gotta be very careful with this. Um, I will warn you if you've if you've ever dealt with onions before, of course gonna make you tear up right you're gonna be crying like a baby when you're cutting this which I hope I don't do during the video <laughs> um, all right now I'm taking half of the red onion you don't even need half honestly because we're only doing one serving of tuna but I'm gonna chop it up all chop it all up together anyways so take your tuna be very careful and cut into it like this and if you're worried about like cutting properly I'm gonna tell you right now I don't, I don't believe there's like a very proper way to cut tuna. The proper way to cut, cut tuna. I don't believe there's a proper way to cut onion. <laughs> yeah, because to me the proper way to cut onion is whatever way make sure that you don't cut your fingers off. So, you're going to chop them up like that. The good thing is onions have all these layers, so even when you're chopping in big, bigger pieces, you can separate them into smaller pieces like that so it's very easy to like dice them up all right that looks like about enough we don't even need all this all right now we're gonna take our bowl I'm gonna put this right here so you can see so I'm gonna take this bowl I'm gonna take my tuna and I'm gonna open it use the fork to get all the tuna meat out Let me get a spoon for this one. I would put about two tablespoons full of mayonnaise in here. All right. You can adjust it as your preference. If you don't want to have a lot of chunky bites when you're having your salad sandwich, then you can adjust it accordingly. But this is what I'm using. All right have your mayo, you have your tuna. I'm gonna put in some of the onions. As you're putting it in, kind of separate the different layers so they don't all stick together. They're kind of like separate pieces, right? And start kind of mixing this around with your fork. As you can tell, this is a super simple recipe. It doesn't require a lot of hard work at all. The only part of this that I would even consider that takes a little bit of effort is the chopping the onions part. After that, it's simply mixing all the ingredients together. All right. 
to me that consistency seems good. You don't want it to be too runny with a lot of mayo because in that case, once you, if you, especially if you're using toast, if your bread is super hot, then the mayo is going to start running out, and you don't want that. You don't you want it to stay together. Now I'm going to add some seasoning to it. Now add your seasoning according to your own preference, okay? I am not going to give you an exact measurement because I don't know what that was. <laughs> That's probably a pinch of salt. Um, and I like to have a lot of pepper, which probably not a lot of other people like or prefer or consider appropriate, but I like a lot of pepper in my food. So, alright. Add some more pepper because I'm that kind of person. Alright. Alright, now that we have the sandwich mix ready, we can go ahead and toast our bread. Alright, now I love honeybee bread. I don't know if anyone else feels the same. If you do, let me know. Um, but I used to only eat white bread. But now, since I've tried honey wheat bread, I really love it. So I'm going to toast my bread because that just adds a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more care to my sandwich. So I like toasted bread when I have sandwiches. All right. Now we wait. All right, now that my bread's been toasted, I'm just going to go ahead and take the tuna salad mixture and put it onto one of the pieces of toast. Alright, now this is like a very like bare bones kind of tuna salad sandwich. Some people put mustard in their salad sandwich. Some people put a layer of lettuce and some cheese on top. I just like to have it like this, but because for me this is the quickest way to make one and especially if I'm super hungry and I don't want to really put a lot of effort into it except for the fact that I need to chop my onions. Um, so yeah, if you prefer having some mustard, um, go ahead, try it with some mustard, add a little bit of lemon juice, and you can even add some dill in it. Um, it all goes well together. So now that we have that, we put the other piece on top and there you go. That's our tuna salad sandwich. Alright, quick and simple, easy dinner. You can have this with some fries, some salad, but it's a really quick and simple meal to make. And my dinner is done in less than 10 minutes. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that quick recipe. If you want to see more, definitely follow us on Facebook and keep checking back. We have different recipes coming out throughout the week. And hope to see you guys next time. Bye!